It's important to have a Facebook page for your Shopify store so later on we can run ads with it and it's very very crucial to set it up correctly. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do that and set up your Facebook page the right way so later on we can run ads for our Shopify store. Like and subscribe to the channel if you didn't already guys. I know this video is going to help you out so I appreciate a like. And if you're interested in scaling your Facebook ads I have the blueprint that is bringing my students to 10k a month, 20k a month and even 40k a month and that comes along with my one-on-one -on -one mentorship so if you're interested in that just hit me up down below or click the link in the description and i'll help you out and see how we can go from there okay guys so to create a facebook page just go to facebook and literally go on the left hand side and you'll find where you can go into your pages tab and then create a page and literally all you want to do is just enter in the page name then pick what category it is if it's a clothing brand you just type in clothing and enter in clothing brand and then the bio you can enter that in too so as you can see here creating your facebook page is very easy just name it enter your category and for the description i usually just put in my mission statement you're gonna tell people exactly who you are and what your brand does in the most concise way possible include keywords that are relative to your brand and your products so if you're a fitness brand just make sure you add in relative keywords like uh gym wear leggings whatever else like it's common sense i think it's not too difficult so while you're editing your facebook page settings first we're gonna start off with page info okay for the example i'm gonna name it the free course page and the category I'm going to leave as clothing and then the bio I have is this so we're going to go ahead and create the page and we're just going to edit the very basic page info so I can show you guys how simple and easy it is now that you created your Facebook page for your Shopify store guys add in your website information add in your phone number add in your email for your Shopify store add in your location and just fill out all these details and for hours you could really put anything you want but I like to do always open and just hit next now from here add in your profile picture which is probably going to be your brand logo. That's what I always do. And then add a nice cover photo. If you don't know what to pick, go to your competitors and see what their cover photos are for inspiration. And then add an action button, which is usually shop now. Now, when it comes to WhatsApp, I usually skip this. If you want, you could invite your friends to your business profile. If you think your friends will like it, if not, just go on to the next thing. You can choose whether you want notifications or not. That's totally up to you. Okay, sweet. Now that we just made a page and we're setting it up, the first thing we want to do is set up automatic responses and basically they're just going to be like FAQs for anybody who wants to contact your page with a question. So if your customers are curious like how can I track an order or any other uh, questions they have you can add these as automatic responses in your Facebook page. So let's go here go to your Facebook page click on manage and we are going to look in the messaging settings and then I'm pretty sure we can go over here and we can click on something that says frequently asked questions up here. I already clicked on it so it is going to be down here for me and i'm just going to click edit you're going to turn this on check on the messenger and then down here you can add questions so question one you just really got to type in your question here and then for the message you want to say you can write the message here for example for their question how can i track my order you're going to write that here and then you're going to tell the customer exactly how they could track their order here oh click this link this is our order tracking page whatever save the changes and now they're going to have the option to message you they're going to see the frequently asked question popped up and if that's their question they're going to click on it and get a quick reply so you don't have to waste your time answering all of these customers when you have a quick reply and guys the thing with facebook is it is always going to be changing the options are always going to be switching around like every single month so just go into all the settings click manage look through everything and get very familiar with it but the next thing we're going to do is edit our templates and tabs and i only check mark shop and reviews so we're going to go into our facebook page we're gonna click more right here and we're gonna manage these sections and the only thing we're gonna leave is shop and review so we're gonna uncheck all of these you can see that reviews is over here I couldn't find shop so I'm not sure if it's because I didn't put in a shop link on my Facebook page yet you might be able to see it later or Facebook just kind of changed things around now what I used to do for my Facebook pages is put these tabs in a specific order and the order would read home about shop reviews photos videos and community everything else is left unchecked but it seems like there was a Facebook update and I'm not sure if you're able to reorder these sections anymore but check all of your settings click and manage and look at everything to see if you still can and if you can't it's really not the biggest deal at all now if you watched the last video we made an Instagram page this is where you're going to be able to connect your Instagram page for your Shopify store to your business Facebook page we just made in this video so go ahead to your Instagram account on your phone go into 
in the settings, go into the business settings on Instagram and connect it to your Facebook page. And then it is really that easy to connect your Instagram page to your business Facebook page or your Shopify store.